Okay, this is the third time that I'm recording this video now, and hopefully this is it. Now, as you guys know from the title, you already know what's going on. I am pregnant. I wanted to wait to share it with you guys just because there was a little bit of complications and everything. I am 20 weeks along, and starting in November, you might have noticed that my posting has become less and less. I have two channels. I have Missy Moo, and then I have this one, and I think almost... On all of December I didn't post and that was because I was feeling really really nauseated I was throwing up a lot it was so bad like I I lost like 15 20 pounds which I mean it's okay because I'm a little overweight or a little bit more than just a little overweight anyways the baby's fine and now I'm 20 weeks along and this is not a like a poor me video or anything I know that some women have it way worse um, last time when I was pregnant which was like 14 years ago, I it was actually way, way worse. So I, I have been throwing up in the beginning, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I mean, it was still okay. I was able to keep a few snacks down, but now it's starting to finally look okay again. But yeah, I couldn't post um, because of that. Cause I mean, who wants to crawl around with a bunch of dolls on the ground or wherever when you're just feeling sick, like, I couldn't even for some reason I could not look at my reborns because I it just I don't know that what if there was a connection or something it's just like it's making me all nauseated like I couldn't look at my reborns or my baby alive dolls and I just I had I had to take a break I had to take a break and I'm also right now on sick leave at my work and I hope to return soon as soon as my everything stabilizes a little bit more never done one of these videos so I'm not sure what is really interesting to you guys but I'll let you know a little bit of the journey some of you know I have a daughter and she's already in high school but she has she has a sibling on her dad's side of the family and that sibling is so cute um, and she's very happy she just became a sister like about a year ago that was really nice that she has a sibling on her dad's side of the family and me and my fiance have been trying for a while and nothing was happening like we were probably trying two three years but we we're just like if if it's in God's plan it's in God's plan and it was it wasn't happening at that time so I wasn't I was sad but I wasn't like super upset about it and then I just figured maybe I'm getting maybe I'm getting too old <laughs> age reveals coming up it's probably not that shocking for you but I am 39 and when you're 39 things don't go as fast anymore as they used to so we were just like oh well if it's not happening it's okay and then fast forward this year November came around and we went for dinner at a nice Greek restaurant I mean it doesn't matter we went to a Greek restaurant and we had dinner and my fiance was having lasagna and they set it right down right in front of him and usually I like love I love pasta I didn't order pasta that night but he did and when I smelled his food I was like that smells like vomit <laughs> and that lasagna is so so good but for some reason it smelled different to me that night and that's when I was like uh oh I think I should go take a test so I let it go for a few days because I was like eh, you never know I was late a little bit but not much and I took the test two three days later and I was pregnant I actually brought the test right here so you guys can see see if this is going to focus so the test showed that I was pregnant and I was in shock because I didn't expect it to happen anymore and I'm not a very ceremonious person I just right away called my fiance and I was like look at this <laughs> and he was shocked too but we were we were happy we we're low-key happy uh, we were more shocked than anything and I took probably that week at least another 10 pregnancy tests to make sure that it actually was what it was but yeah that was the story it's not really that exciting my last pregnancy was a little bit tough um I had twins and unfortunately one of them died just before birth so it was a result of things that were happening in my body. Twin pregnancies are always a little bit more difficult, but I was just very scarred from that experience. So I didn't tell my daughter until I was probably like, I don't know, 16, 18 weeks along. I just didn't want her to get excited just in case something would happen. 
So it was at one point I couldn't, I was throwing up so much that she thought I was seriously sick. So I had, I had to tell her, I wasn't going to tell her actually until like I went to 20, 24 week mark. I know, like how are you going to hide a pregnancy belly? But I wear very baggy clothing, so she might have not noticed. But I was throwing up so much that I just, I had to tell her because she was really, really concerned. And when I told her, it was very sweet. She was, she started crying and she was very happy. Now, going forward, I already had a lot of doctor appointments, and just because of my past, they already know that they're definitely going to do a cesarean section, which I'm totally fine with. My last cesarean section, it took a little while to recover. It was actually, it was pretty good. It was fine. My baby girl was good, so it all turned out okay. Now, going forward, there's probably a lot of things we have to do. I do have a lot of baby items, so I don't think I really have to do that much shopping, but... We're going to have to find another place and I know I'm constantly, it seems like I'm constantly moving but our current place is just a two bedroom condo right now and we'll need another third bedroom eventually. In the beginning the baby's going to sleep with us in the bedroom of course. After six, seven months I'm hoping that we'll have moved so we can start setting up a nursery for the baby. I did find out the gender and i think i'm going to do a gender reveal on this channel let me know if that's something i should do and let me know if you think i should keep this channel as a reborn channel or do a little bit of both do a little bit of my reborn stuff and do a little bit of baby things but yeah i just uh, wanted to share that with you guys so thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys later bye